Hello and welcome to T's Kitchen where I teach you how to cook large meals for events and gatherings. Today I'm going to teach you how to make macaroni and cheese. This is a, uh, I think it said two, um, two pounds. So this is a two pound bag and this is a two pound bag. And we're also going to fry a turkey today. Um, so get a shot of that. And um, so let's go get the macaroni on first. So I have a, a, this is a, gosh, this pot is probably about, I would say six to eight gallons. And I'm going to add a third cup of salt right into the water ridge. See that? Uh -huh. Right into the water. And then stir that in. And I'm doing that because I'm going to add my macaroni. This is two pounds. There's a lot of macaroni. I'm making two pans. And then another two pounds. And you have to stir this up. Cook up here. If you don't stir it up, your macaroni will get stuck together. You don't have to stir for a long time, but you do need to stir this up. So now I've done that. Cover it with your lid. I put salt in that water because if you don't season your noodles, your elbow noodles or whatever you're cooking, even if you were cooking spaghetti, you want to um, get it cooked uh, with seasoning with some salt in it. And then, um, okay, we're going to move on over to the turkey. We're going to fry some good old turkey today. Okay, come on, Rich. So, this little turkey. <laughs> I usually do a turkey that's about 20 pounds plus, but this is all we could find. So I rinsed it really well, took the insides out. I kept the turkey neck. Usually I make the stock with this, but it's always frozen in turkey. So I'm gonna try something new this year and I'm gonna fry it. And we're gonna see what it tastes like. So anyways, these are my seasonings. Right here, the same old seasonings, onion powder, 17 seasonings, what is this, pepper, seasoning salt, accent, garlic powder. So what I did was take uh, a tablespoon of everything except for the pepper. Do like half a tablespoon. And then I did two tablespoons of my secret ingredient, 17 seasonings. I did two tablespoons of that. And you know me, I like my accent. You don't have to use this. I use two tablespoons of this. But a tablespoon of everything else and then the pepper, just half of that tablespoon. Okay, so I mixed it all up in here, in this jar. So what I'm going to do now is put it all over my turkey. If it's too dry, I do have some, some butter. You can use whatever you want to. And you see I'm touching this raw turkey meat. Do not use this seasoning for anything else except for this. Because I'm putting my hands back in here. So don't, don't use that to season anything else. Okay, I'm going to turn him over. Now I, got a, I have an idea for him today. Let me get him all on the inside. Put it all in there. Because you want your turkey seasoned. You don't want no... Seasonless, seasonless turkey. You know I make up words. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to get it on here really good some more. And I loosened the skin. I just stuck my hands under there like that. Went really gently so I wouldn't tear the skin. And then I came on this side and did the same thing so that I can get these seasonings under my skin. Under its skin, not mine. So I put that all under there. And I'm actually frying this turkey for my mom. So I've got that seasoning all under the skin. Now I'm going to try something new. <laughs> because usually when you're baking your turkey, you can put your sage and your, uh, uh, what is that called? Uh, rosemary. You can put your rosemary all under the skin. And then you bake it. But this year, I'm frying it. So I want that, all those herbs. So what I'm going to try to do, and we're going to see how it works out when I fry it. I'm going to put this all under the skin, stick it way up in there and 
spread it out so that it won't pop out in the oil. But I want that flavor. I melted some butter, a stick, one stick of butter, and this is one pack. I'll show you another pack. I'll show you one. I have another one because I got another turkey to fry. So I'm gonna put this all on this skin, put it back up in there so the skin can cover it. And now you see that butter on my hands? So I can get all those seasonings to really stick. And get all these seasonings, put it all in the wings. Get the turkey a nice massage. Massage it like you want to be massaged. Then it'll be seasoned right. Put it all under the wings. All up in here. Everywhere. Because you know that turkey breast, you want that really seasoned. Look at that turkey, that turkey tail. There's a lot of flavor right there. And I'm gonna even, I'm gonna flavor this too. There we go. Get it on here. Got it in this nice pan. I'm gonna let it rest in here for about an hour to let these seasonings get into it. Sit in the refrigerator and let it rest and let those seasonings really get in there. And then we're gonna come back and fry it. We're going to check on our macaroni and cheese. When it's done, we're not going to cook that macaroni and cheese all the way. You cook it till it's al dente. That means that it's not all the way cooked because when you bake it, it's going to cook some more. Then you'll have really big fat overcooked noodles if you uh, cook them too much. If you, if you cook them past al dente. Okay, this is our turkey. We'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So we boiled the macaroni noodles down here ridge we boil them we uh, rinse them in cold water to stop the cooking so that they are al dente here go my cheeses Ooh, my. this is cheddar this is um, mozzarella this is cream cheese this is uh, jack cheese smoked gouda and baby bells these are so good they take a lot more work these are baby bells they go oh, upside down. <laughs> they come in uh, like a mesh pack. And uh, I just took the, I bought two packs. And I took the, the mesh off and then the little baby bell pep, uh, paper. And then you just see that? You pull off all this wax and just like that. And it opens up. Look at that. You get your little cheese out. It's a snack. But I like them. So I put it in my macaroni and cheese. Okay, so we're going to go and get these cheeses in the pot so we can melt the cheeses for the macaroni. Uh, also, I forgot to mention earlier to show you guys this. These are the herbs that I had put under that turkey skin. So it's just a mixed pack of, uh, it's called Roasty Mix. And it's got rosemary, sage, and thyme. All three in there. So anyways, we're going to get the uh, um, cheeses. So, oh, I should have made a spot. Let me see if I if I can do it. So we have two cups of milk in the pot. Ooh, this is so long. Um... <laughs> Don't fall. Yeah, this is not gonna work. <laughs> Please, let me move that pot. Don't don't get that in there. So let me get all my cheeses. You can get over there in the pot. Mm -hmm. Got two cups of uh, milk in there. I'm going to start with two cups and see how much. Because before in the past, I'll put like, you know, a lot of milk in there. And your cheese will be like a soup. So I'm going to start out with those two cups. And let that begin to melt. melt. Keep adding these cheeses in there. I'm going to get my spoon to stir it. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to get all my cheese in here. Once it once it uh, starts to melt, um, I'll come back and show you how, uh, how I did with the two cups of milk in it and what it's looking like and everything. No salt, no seasonings. You can put a little pepper. I would do that or put it in your macaronis. All right, we'll be back. Okay, you guys. So, um... We got the cheese melted. 
Um, here it is right here. Here's the consistency. Remember we started out with two cups. I ended up adding five more cups. Um, I should have sh shown you how large the packs of cheese that I use, but each one I just got the biggest pack that I saw. So the mozzarella, the big one. You know, the cheddar, the big one. You know, the cream cheese, the big one. It was a big one too, that cream cheese. But um, any, and I found them all at uh, Winco and Smart and Final between those two stores. Okay, so this pot is too heavy for us to carry on camera, so um, I'm gonna have my son to pick this up, pour half and half in the macaroni and cheese, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we got the cheese in the pans, and uh, you can see how cheesy that is. Uh -oh. So we're gonna mix this up. And um, I, put, I put a little bit of butter in the uh, macaroni. You can add some chunks of it after you finish mixing it if you like. I am. I'm going to do that off camera. Let's see. You can see. There it is. And actually, I forgot to say some cheese to the side because I would have did half and half and put some mozzarella in the middle. Because I like mine stretchy. But it'll be all good. I did save some for the top. And I forgot to save some of the... Uh, Cheddar cheese, the orange cheddar cheese for the top, too. You know what? I have a cousin that made some macaroni and cheese, and he put bell peppers in his macaroni. It was really good. You know, everybody don't like bell peppers, but uh, it was good. You know, it wasn't bad at all. Okay, so got this all mixed up. I put a little pepper in, in the macaroni and cheese. Spread this out just like this. Get it all down in there. This is going into the oven, 350, but I'm not done. Let me um put this in. This is some mozzarella that I did remember to say. Nice big bag. I'm gonna put some on top. I'm a I'm a cheesy type person. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on top and move it around. There we go. Two bags, one for me and one for my mom. I mean, uh, macaroni and cheese. One for me and one for my mom. And uh, my nephews and my sister and my great niece and my great great niece. <laughs> no, I don't have a great great niece. I'm tripping. I'm not quite old enough yet. I have great nieces. But everybody's growing up. Okay, so we got these done. We're going to cover them with foil and get them in the oven. And next, we're going to get ready to fry that turkey. All right, be right back. Okay, you guys, it's time to fry that turkey. This is my lovely husband, Mr. McNair, Pastor McNair. And he's going to lift up this turkey with his strong muscles and lower it down into the oil slowly. Do not put your turkey in fast. Watch this. Come over here, Reg. And watch how uh, this oil gets. It's going to have an attitude. cheese is done here it is right here see that nice color on there nice bubbling butter right in that corner over here Rich. 
see how uh, nice and creamy that is? I'm gonna give me a taste, but right now it's too hot, so I'm gonna sit it right here. So let me close this oven. Mm -hmm. Over here. Yeah, I'm right here. You still looking well, at that? <laughs> I'm, looking at I'm gonna give everybody a sneak preview of this turkey. It's been cooking for 40 minutes. Look, that's that good old turkey neck right there. And then I'm gonna lift it up so you can see the turkey. See how nice that look? You got it, Rich? Mm -hmm. And the turkey legs, they take longer to cook than the breast meat. So I'm gonna probably leave it in here like another 10 minutes and then we'll come back and see how it looks. All right. Okay, you guys, so here the turkey is done. Looking nice and done. Look at that turkey neck. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I don't know how to, if the meat will come off good, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna it's cooked. It's seasoned. Mmm. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like when you take a piece of like chicken wing and you cook it really hard. But that's what it tastes like. It tastes like chicken. <laughs> so turkey, it tastes like chicken. Anyways, I'm going to let my son taste that after the video. So, mm, I can taste all the seasonings. So, there's the turkey. I like fried turkey now. So quick. Don't have to do all that baking all night long. Oh, my Lord. Anyway, it goes the wonderful macaroni and cheese. Looking all good. Still piping hot. I got the other one still in the oven. It's done, though. The oven is turned off. <laughs> so anyways look so that's my tutorial on fried turkey and macaroni and cheese and so don't forget to like and subscribe and share and don't forget and also don't forget to push that notification that bell that little notification bell so that when I upload my next video you'll be the first to find out I don't know what I'm going to cook next week, guys, but I'll figure it out. I know I got to do a big old ham and a roast. Maybe that'll be my next video. And, my, and mashed potatoes. And now I think I'm done. I just do the dinner rolls out of the stove. Bada boom, bada bam. Put them in the oven. Brown them a little bit. Take them out. Serve them to the fam. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.